Pro game. Um. Yeah, it looks like we're ready. Yeah, it looks like we're ready. <laughs> I even have audio. Heck yeah. Hey, Short, how's it going? All right. Welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic APC. Where we are going on the deep dives. There's also the Yuletide stuff, too, which is pretty cool. I haven't done any of it. <laughs> oh, man. It got really late yesterday. Yeah. Stoner rocket stone. Yeah, so I've only hopped in and seen some of this stuff. To the magma core. Rock and stone, rock and stone, a spooky man, Iron. Good evening, good evening, David. How are you doing today? What up? Hey, slamming. Good at, uh, good after morning, good after morning, dwarf things. I'm oh, sorry, things dwarf fear. <laughs> All right, now, Nova had donated to the charity yesterday and said that today she wanted to see thermal exhaust feedback with cryo bolts on this deep dive. And I don't know exactly what's on this deep dive, so this should be interesting. I'm going to take electric bolts too. Uh, what do I want with this? One more cooling. Mm, I think I want this cooling, but maybe not that one. Yeah, sure. And yeah, we should probably take those. All right. Yeah, you're on season's greetings. Season greetings, Lee. How are you doing? Did you see the sand outside the space rig? I have not, but people were telling me about it. Santa, where are you, Santa? I don't see Santa outside the rig. Is there a specific spot that he shows up, or is it just random? Hmm. Thanks, cooling. It's pretty cool in these slappers. <laughs> yes. Huh. Not seen him anywhere. Flies from the left to the right. Oh, okay, so he flies across here then. Let me go get my beer. I got the Santa hats, candy canes. There's also the snowballs. So you can chuck these at each other. <laughs> That's great. Fortune and glory. Yes. Oh, there goes Santa. Oh, yeah, and he's being pulled yeah. by a bunch of glyphids. <laughs> awesome. Feeling much better now. Yeah. Oh, whoop. <laughs> that goes way higher than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you throw it pretty straight. <laughs> Huh, can I be flung by this? No, I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and stone That's it, lad. Rock and All right. Rock Let's be on our way go. then. Rock and stone, fellow miners. I love the seasonal stuff they did uh, for Carl. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. He didn't tip Bosco. That's not Bosco. That's a uh, Lloyd. <laughs> Two things you need to say when referring to the time of morning are after morning because it will always be ap either morning or after morning. Yeah, I guess so. Aaron, have you played Arch Survival Evolution before? No, but I do have it. I just never played it. Hello, uh, Yannick. Or Yannick. Yannick. 
<laughs> Hope you guys are doing well today. That I was throwing snowballs at Jiron? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Keeping in the winter spirit. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Jack. How's it going? How you doing today? The snowball fights are fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we've got presents. I actually forgot about the presents in the caves. <laughs> Oh, it's rival presence, okay. <laughs> oh, I overheated. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Can't speak for some reason today, but <laughs> other than that, I'm doing good. Can't let you have trouble with this one. I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know what it's about. Damn, I walked into those bullets. Didn't even get to stage there. Oh, okay. What the? Yeah, like down there. Okay. Turrets are taken care of. We just got the eggs and then the dreadnought. Donkey, come here. <laughs> Enjoying the snowball fights? Yes. Need some overclocks on those. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning, uh, Zaya. I hope I'm saying that name right. How are you doing today? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Antonio. Uh. Let's see, can I have some presents? Sure, why not? Everybody gets presents, although these presents might be full of bugs, so... I, I don't know how thrilled you are about that, Jack. <laughs> I mean, you would get some pretty cool bugs. They wouldn't be like anything else. Downside is they might try to eat you. Bugs for Christmas? Nice. <laughs> I mean, some people like to collect bugs uh, for like pets or for uh, you know like those exhibits like after they die to pin them on things I don't know what those are called but they do look kind of cool in um, in museums and stuff that I've been in so <laughs> Oh, whoops. I hit the edge of that. That's not good. I thought I shot past it. <laughs> yeah. My bad.
now. Okay, there we go. We lost our driller too. That's not good. Um. Okay. Okay. Got two more cryo bolts, three electro bolts, and a couple more shots of this. What's up? Hey, uh, Virgil, how's it going? Hey, speaking of pets and such, how's the scam bot situation been <laughs> lately? Um. I don't think it's been too bad, Jack. Honestly, I haven't been able to see it as well recently because my Streamlabs has been acting weird and it sometimes cuts out between the two chats. So usually I just have like Twitch chat pulled up over here and then YouTube chat. So I only know when people are saying, uh, be gone bots. And it doesn't seem that bad, which is kind of nice. There more? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, jumped right into that. Yes, I am all out of bolts. because we're all kind of low on ammo. <laughs> Tuning in from work, awesome! Well, I hope work is going well, and welcome! Uh, I completely ignored last week's set for the same for the first time in almost a year. I feel like I let something die. <laughs> okay. And stone everybody <laughs> yeah 
Now bring forth the hordes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need a driller for the third stage? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen the third stage. using this is thermal exhaust feedback on the track and then cryo bolts on the crossbow this was asked uh, by Nova then she donated to the charity stream so she got to pick this one and then if anybody else would like to see anything in particular feel free to ask but I will be prioritizing donations towards uh, the charity and we're gonna be doing this charity all until the end of December so up until the end of the year, we are benefiting St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is one of my favorite charities to work with. Ah. Mm, that should freeze it in time, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so and get some thermal shock. Rock and stone. I'm on a six hour drive. Perfect. Fast the time. Thanks for the stream. Oh, well, thank you, Anthony. I hope your drive goes well, man. Is it for work or you heading somewhere for the holidays? Either way, hope it goes well. Sour drive doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. I mean, my boss, uh, my previous boss, did that basically twice a week. It might have actually been a longer drive overall. Because he would go out of his way. Well, he'd go up, grab stuff uh, further up in the state, and then pretty much be leaving the state as he would drive south. Um, and that would happen at least twice a week. Hmm. Sometimes longer, and then, like, I would drive a delivery truck, but I'd just do the local things, so I would usually not be driving for more than, like, three hours in total. And that's, like, also uh, dropping off delivery, so, like, I wasn't going any further than, like, a town or two away. All right. Let's be on our way then. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got the uh, skull crushers for extra pickaxe damage. <laughs> Nasty little buggers. <laughs> Let's go. All right. My brother has an orb weaving spider. Her name is Frank. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so enjoy the MC Diamond pickaxe <laughs> paint job. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, does anybody know if they updated the game system in the past two days? Um, I don't know if there's been it. Well, uh, yeah, there actually has been an update, Anthony, because uh, we have the Yuletide stuff. 
delivery jobs do sound quite fun, not gonna lie. I, I liked them. I enjoyed doing deliveries. It was me and my brother that would drop off like a bunch of stuff and it was always convenient. Well, it was always really nice to go around. And, um... Like, just talk to the people in the different areas. It kind of sucked when the truck was acting up. <laughs> but... Or this one was the worst. Oh, low oxygen. Oh, low oxygen hack the. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't sound easy. Alright, well, I'll get to mining then. This one was pain. <laughs> Where is that damn you? Come along, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we got a, a Twitch bot. I got phase bombs and snipers from playing Driller. Oh. Yeah, that sounds kind of rough. <laughs> well... <laughs> it's being zapped, hang on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably don't want to stand in the minefield. Much nitro as I can get. Ow. Leave me alone. I don't have anything to shoot you with. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, run. <laughs> oh, whoops, I hit a shredder. I was trying to hit that thing. bad place for this to be later too <laughs> and it would be okay for oxygen as well hey sleepy bear how's it going can't understand the data rack mission i know i need to shoot the eye once it appears other than that i'm lost oh okay yeah that's that's basically all it is you got to go hack the things open this up shoot those big um I don't know what you would call them, exhaust vents or something? There like no snipers here? It's a little bit odd. Power station here. We need a hacking pot to hack it. Oh. There is one. You have sniped your last war. Man, 
Should slow him down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's four fire here. Yeah. Oh, I already did the gun. There we go. <laughs> Just smack him. This is gonna be a battle you deep dive. The... Oh, okay. Greens are okay to play without overclocks. Let's see, I am I have very few overclocks as I'm slowly transitioning off of being a green uh, green beard. Okay, Brandon, cool. You don't really need a you don't really need overclocks to do most deep dives. Um, certain ones when we've had them in the past have been really difficult and they they do help. But I would just suggest like trying out all sorts of overclocks when you get them, see what you like. I love when my internet cuts out. That was happening to me the other day, Jack. It wasn't fun. I was having big lag spikes um, yesterday playing Dark Tide, which seemed kind of weird. And then it went back to normal. There we go. Oh, there's Nitra. <laughs> yeah, DOG is great with noobs. It's all just communication. Just tell them that you're new. It's okay to die. Somebody's gonna pick you up anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about like dying in general. I mean, worse than happens is you fail the mission, you try again, right? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I need more bullets, but I'm ready. Oh. More stuff up in the ceiling. Okay. Wait, did I say that? Okay, I did say I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's breaking our connection. Slow or something. Yeah, it certainly is. Let's roll. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> hey, Gecko. How's it going? Some of the funniest games I've been have had a lot of deaths. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Heated again. Whoops. Yeah, that. Much if they're coming this way. Light. 
Hopefully that helps. Okay. okay. Now go find the second one. <laughs> Direction. All right. Uh, how do you like the Christmas event? I like it quite a bit. I haven't got the new stuff. The pickaxe skin looks awesome. <laughs> I think everybody's got iron will. Got hit in the head with that. That would have been real bad. Two grabbers? Yep, two grabbers. this then you guys have just started the game yesterday oh okay Ripper's awesome well I hope that you're enjoying it it can be a super fun game <laughs> Play the game and have fun, but always remember to salute. Yep, <laughs> mash the V key. LV7 to keep this content for uh, <laughs> for help. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Rippers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if I'm distracted, yeah, just feel free to ask some more. <laughs> I'll try to respond as much as I can. Any 2023 release you're looking forward to? Yes, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Dead Space Remake, and Silent Hill 2 Remake. I'm all looking forward to. Uh, also, Stalker. Stalker 2. Um... Trying to think of anything else. It seems like there's some other things. Potentially Atomic Heart as well. I'm looking forward to. I don't know if Silent Hill F is supposed to be out then too. Maybe. That 
kaputt. grab that. I'll grab this other one resupply over here. I'm taking some of the ammo. Lights up. Horse fields about to come down. Lighted some nitro on there. Okay. Splitters hate typing. Apparently so. Some oxygen. Ow. Thanks for fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sugar. Alright. Get some more nitra. We can still knock the rest of this down. Alright. My favorite is Ludicus Speed. Heard Silent 2 might be. Uh, timed exclusively for PlayStation for a bit though. Oh, that kind of sucks. That could be a thing though. Watch me fly. I'm wondering if fighting bugs and moving dirt is the best way to make a living. All right. Pulling a battery. Actually, looking at the specs doesn't seem like it's many. We'll give it a try. Oh, D uh, deep rock? Yeah, no, deep rock's super well optimized. Oh. It's also super small too, Jack. So it shouldn't take up like any space on your computer. I think it'd be something you would like. Oh, I'm gonna run out of oxygen again. No, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Stone, rock and stone, monkey man. Elf hunt and wind. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny that they gave us a uh, elf cosmetic <laughs> for this season. Oh, 
I'll just kind of hang back here and get my oxygen. Ow. First stage down. Thank you. Uh, snipers, that's not good. Snipers inbound. Actually hit it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's go get them boomerang. Go get them other boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck. All right. Well, I'm yeah, I'm not in a great place to pick up, but <laughs> it, it might be doable. I'd rather fight two caretakers than an omen. <laughs> really. My GPU is an RX 580. Awesome. Uh, my brother had a RX 580 for quite a while, and it served him pretty well. Oh, the yeah, the earthquake. It should be okay. Yeah. Okay, one moment. I need some HP. Then I can go on res. Yeah, it's never got me midair. Kill me. Thank you. Oh, what's <laughs> the Go away. Whoops. Okay. 
Out of ammo. There's a resupply right there. Too long as the earthquake holds you in place. Dang it, I let go. <laughs> I didn't think I was actually gonna make it there. <laughs> that sucked. Couldn't help at all. I still got this one too. This room, yeah. <laughs> oh no, not another earthquake. What the? <laughs> That's not a good thing. This also isn't either. I think I died to the floor fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's more nitro down here. Oh, thank you so much. Um, this should give me enough time to go back and res. Huh, okay, or not. <laughs> Okay, I should be fairly safe just hiding right here behind this rock. Okay. Taking cover. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Run, hide, <laughs> cower. Do whatever needs to you need to do to stay alive. Oh 
Okay. I should be okay for this res. Yeah, that's fine. your time. Alright. Okay, just yeah. <laughs> okay, I took out one section of it. Yay! Still another tentacle here though. Go away. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> okay. Still need my oxygen. <laughs> Still need to dodge lasers, too. Okay. Okay, Boomerang, can you go after that one? Thank you. Hey! That's on the other side. And there's another earthquake. <laughs> Just get underground. <laughs> Oh crap. Oop. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> That's probably good because otherwise I think I would have died from the fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, that's okay. I still got my iron wheel. Resupply is inbound. Uh, Alright, um, I guess I'll use mine. Die, so it's somewhere else then. Decided to get into DRG recently. I uh, started watching a bunch of uh, videos. Oh, on fire. Okay. All right, I gotta. Yeah, there we go. Move that just a little bit so I can actually read these things. Sorry for missing messages. I know I did I miss a lot. A dwarf, if you can't do it, <laughs> they'll do it again. <laughs> All right, let's get going then. Yeah, killed it. Yes, we killed it. I'm not looking forward to this elite, it looks crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ammo in the 
Here, I'll grab the other one. It's over here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, started watching a bunch of videos about it. Then today I decided to look up uh, and ended up finding you. What luck? Oh, well, I'm glad that you're uh, getting back into Deep Rock. Absolute. And I'm glad that you found the channel or found the uh, Twitch stream. Rock and Stone, Rock and Stone parkour. Yep. <laughs> That's all that fight was, was just parkouring around constantly. Just dodging as much stuff as I could. Oh, these earthquakes really made it harder on us. Okay. Uh, Ron, if you're making a compilation of all the times Molly tried to kill you, I think. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I'm usually not recording what I... Like, I can always rip the streams and then make them into videos, but... I forget when and how often that happens, and it's just kind of a uh, a natural thing that happens anyway anymore where Molly tries to kill me at least once or twice throughout the mission. Will stage 3 be crazy? I don't know, maybe. Stage 2 is pretty crazy. Stage 3 is a hold the point area with a swarm with lethal enemies, but we do have low gravity. I had my pom-poms waving above my head as I cheered. <laughs> Thanks, Disco. Appreciate that. Molly's an opportunist waiting for the right time to bump a dwarf. Yeah, exactly. Accidents happen all the time. Dwarfs fall into radioactive pits <laughs> on a daily basis. <laughs> Molly murder attempts, a natural thing that happens, Ron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, not lethal enemies. Yeah. But hey, low gravity. We screwed. <laughs> what are you talking about? We got 10 Nitra. And low gravity. We're good to go. Plus, we'll get uh, three mini mules, so we'll have plenty more Nitra. We got moon shoes. Yep, moon shoes. I love your enthusiasm, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, there's a good chance we win. I think it's just two that I actually need to stick on there and then it'll die from freezing, but I always forget that. Trapped in a corner. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Hmm. 
That's leech day. I heard it. <laughs> hey. Okay, there we go. I got the hello there mod, so I hear uh, hello there whenever a leech tries to grab. <laughs> oh, that works. That's not our swarm egg. So we still got the other egg to deal with then. <laughs> okay. At least we don't have to deal with low oxygen anymore. That's so nice. <laughs> One elite deep dive. Yeah, exactly. Lethal plus swarm again is the worst combo. It could be pretty bad. Swarmers already do a surprising amount of damage, and when they have lethal enemies, they're just dealing double that. Positive run, the teammates, <laughs> the teammate we all need. <laughs> I usually try to stay positive. What's the point of being negative? Let there be to be realistic? That's not fun. <laughs> Alright, um. I'm not seeing any other legs. Oh. Because the loot bugs are hiding them. If everything was positive, none of my batteries would work. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> There's a lot of big guys now. Oh, I'm out of bullets or battery, whatever this thing shoots. <laughs> All right. Are bouncy cells good in this game? Uh, yeah. Bouncy rounds can be really good in this game. They're one of my favorites. Not always because they're good, but because they're fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Exploders inbound. Alright. Presence Pearl, yes. I never even thought about modding this game. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Yeah, you can mod this game quite a bit. Um, there's some quality of life mods. That seemed pretty cool that I haven't tried yet, but would probably be the first things I'd recommend. Like the the one where you can see heat gauges seems pretty nice. It essentially just takes the heat gauge like you can see on my drac and then puts it like on your reticle. So it's more easy to watch. 
See how hot your weapon is getting? I've seen that one. That seems pretty good. Um, I know there's some other, like, quality of life stuff. Especially if you have, uh, like, vision impairments. There's a lot of things like that, which is always nice to see. I can't play without special powder boomstick. Best overclock. So much fun. <laughs> special powder boomstick is super fun. Just the ability to fly is awesome. Oh, wait. Where's the other egg? Oh, it's over there. Look there. No, nope, I'm sliding. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Swarm egg. Detected a massive swarm and collision course. Yeah. One left. Ready to use. All eggs collected. Objective completed. You're doing well. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I, I don't want bullets, but I'm ready. <laughs> this is the <laughs> Get in more ammo. Time to I do need that. <laughs> we still got enough for like a couple more resupplies. Two more. <laughs> hammered your computer that's why <laughs> rock and stone <laughs> rock and stone gym um, dark tide is more demanding compared to drg oh yeah dark tide is way more demanding than drg drg i'm fairly sure you could run on a potato <laughs> okay generated idea I have a tier of patron or donation where players can join private dives uh, I guess that would be an idea but I don't want to keep it so that it's only those people that can join I don't know in all honesty I don't really like monetizing that much it sounds a little bit weird but I Like, I would rather just focus on just making cool stuff and having things that are more open to everybody. 
so that more people are able to hop in and uh, play or be a part of things. I don't really want things being like uh, exclusive. That's why really the only exclusive things that there are are like emotes, which I, I guess are just, just have to be exclusive based on YouTube's policy or Twitch's policy. Um, or like early videos, like a day early or so. So, yeah, usually like... <laughs> I don't really care for the business aspect all that much of, like, this, even though now it's become, like, my full-time job. I still don't really like it. Good on you for the charity work, man. I uh, hope it comes around for you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, well, we we exceeded the other goal that we had for the last charity stream that we're doing for the first half of December. So hopefully we can hit this one. If so, that'd be awesome. Oh, oops. I think you can run it on a gourmet potato, but a potato nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I loved uh, Drilling in the Name of's video when he made, like, the PlayStation version of Deep Rock since it came out just on PlayStation and then made it look like it was, um, like, PlayStation 1. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? I honestly would not be surprised if there was a, like, a version of Deep Rock Maybe, you know, maybe you'd have to go into the, the files and downgrade it a bunch. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was a uh, game of Deep Rock that could be run on a PlayStation 1. <laughs> because it's like, the game isn't that big. It's pretty much always been super well optimized. Basically, the only issues I've ever had with Deep Rock have been when we've been playing on, like, the beta. Or the occasional, like, random crash, but that happens with every game, so... Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> Ronald does build requests for free, and players can join him in streams, uh, and all the streams are open lobbies. Yeah, exactly. Deep Rock on PS1, count me in, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> just a bug standing right next to you. <laughs> Alright. I think we got this then. Boomerang's OP. <laughs> Don't know if they're OP, but they are helping quite a bit. They are nice for just slowing things down. Put that there, it might freeze something. Yep, it's already working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ow. 
Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I could use some more ammo. Alright. I think we did it. This week's deep dive is actually pretty difficult. Mainly that second mission. This last mission probably isn't e easy either. And since it's a salvage mission, I know somebody's going to get messed up by RNG. Somebody's gonna have this go fairly well for him and then get a detonator at the end or something. Or like triple menaces or, you know, something awful. I don't know why that got that message got filtered out. Mm -hmm. really deep dives and overclocks, I think, are endgame. Yeah, basically cosmetic is the end game. <laughs> yes. Dwarf fashion is actually the true end game. Yeah. <laughs> I want a pheromone grenade that makes these bugs swarm to the target. <laughs> That'd be cute. Maybe they'll add that as an April Fool's Day thing or something. Who knows? I've been using the boomerang more instead of the cryo grenades since now I take two cryos to freeze whales and you only get four of them. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I actually thought that would take longer, only an hour and 12 minutes. Mostly because that second stage, it felt like we were in there forever. I know a beer named Ghost Ship. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's the... Well, it's Ghost Ship Games that makes this. Stage two is going to be hard for a lot of people, yeah. Stage two was definitely the hardest. Stage one was fine. Stage one was like normal. I guess a bit more difficult than normal because it had rival presence in it. But. And the deep dive was pain. <laughs> Hello, Phoenix. Second stage, which was nuts. Yeah. And freaking storm knocked my power out. Uh, maybe in the dark for a few days because it's very bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sam. That sucks. I've had that happen before, though. Uh, all right. Uh, well, we're going on this deep dive. Would anybody like to see anything in particular? Uh, again, I will be prioritizing donations. So if anybody would like to donate to St. Jude's as well, I will be sure to use your build. <laughs> uh, there's a link in the description or a panel down below. And of course, St. Jude's is a uh, cancer research hospital that helps families pay for medical bills for uh, their sick children. So it's a it's a really good cause. Um, it's been a lot of fun to work with them. And I have had friends that have went to St. Jude's for their children's uh, health. And it's been very, very useful for them. GG boys, good run. Well, thank you, Lucas. Uh, instead of saying both detonator, we should say George because the game is listening. <laughs> Code words. Why kill bugs when you can kill bu bugs looking pretty? Exactly. You were in there forever. <laughs> well, we were in the second stage forever. Uh, hey, Ron. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Rico. How are you? Shield battery booster? Uh, just for the sadism. <laughs> All right, we can do shield battery booster. Um, would you like to see that with anything in particular? Let's see, let me check. 
this thing too because I have a feeling that this isn't giving me all of my messages right away maybe it is maybe it's just like lagging behind or something it might just be lagging behind a little bit because now it start now it started popping them up all right <laughs> oh boy fungus bug too yeah fungus bug as well that was the almighty <laughs> Merlin uh, Merlin's doing good at least as far as I'm aware. I haven't actually seen him today, so he's probably still snoozing, but uh, I'm sure he's doing fine. Shell-shocked. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Keep rocking and stoning. All right. Hey, take care. Have a great rest of your day, John. Uh, let's see. Shield battery booster. Well, I want to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure, that'll be fine for shield battery booster. And then for a secondary. As a former can cancer patient myself, that fundraiser means a lot to me. Thanks, Ron. Oh, well, thank you for donating too, Jackrabbit. I appreciate that. Let me read that message. Uh, assuming there was a message with it. Oh, no message, but thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And yeah, it's been super fun to work with St. Jude so far. I've had... <laughs> Some of the other charities that I've done stuff for, I've had weird interactions with, like, the staff and stuff. St. Jude's has never, has never done that, uh, which is great. And uh, it's always been... I, I wouldn't say, like, any of the interactions I've had have been bad from, like, other charities that I've also worked with. But it's just like these ones have been uh, like substantially more positive. And I think it's uh, really cool to actually be working with them. Let's see. Oh, maybe I'll take gas recycling. I haven't used that in a little bit. Special powder? Ah, all right. We can do special powder. Sure. I know I'm going to go with a classic. Rock All right. Rock and stone, oh, pots of gold. <laughs> Feel like we went through hell and back on the last one. If this bar doesn't have strong enough beer to take the edge off. <laughs> I remember somebody had posted a meme on the... I think it was on the Deep Rock Reddit. That seemed pretty funny. Of... Um, I think it was like a dwarf working as a plumber or something. Or the dwarves from this working as plumbers. And then the, uh, I don't know. I don't remember what kind of person they were uh, doing that for or something, but just gets like flashbacks midway through. And then the other person's like, can I offer you some tea or something? <laughs> like, no, no, I need something stronger than that. And then it's like next page is just him drinking like himself into a stupor at the at this bar. <laughs> Magic. Ah, oh, bullet elf plus magic bullets. Yes. Brrrt. Yeah, the brrrt build. <laughs> the no aim necessary build. <laughs> Maybe flammable bolts to make... to take care of the fumes. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. I can do it with the shotgun, though, because I do have uh, white phosphorus shells. <laughs> Hang on, let me... No, whoop. <laughs> Come on, you lazy bastards. We've got a job Snowballs for the Come win. On, yeah. We're leaving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm blind. Boom, All right. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Can't hide from this. I ain't got all day. Let's lay. Yeah. <laughs> Midway through the snowball fight, throw a cup. <laughs> Ready to leave. Uh, got my first class to three-star legendary yesterday. Three more to go. Awesome, Matt. I'm not even that high. I've got scout and driller, I think, to one star, and I think the other ones are at diamond three. So I'm getting closer, but not quite up to there yet. 
Hey, Ron, Ron, remember when you wore the lobster claw on the deer mask for a charity stream? Yes, yes, I do. I still have them. Uh, I wish the lobster claws made better oven mitts than what they do. They're really comfortable, but they need, like, thumbs off to the side because the way the thumbs are set up are like this. And you can't really move them that well out of that. So they work for, like, cookie sheets, and that's about it, unfortunately. But I still have them, and I still have the deer mask somewhere, I think, in my closet over there. <laughs> order. Oh, order. Hey, Ron, wore deer mask for something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the first time I was invited to be a part of the St. Jude's um, stream to... Or I want to say stream to serve, but no, that's one boy. Um... They're St. Jude's Play Live. They sent everybody a big box, which apparently I, you were supposed to keep as a secret, but I wasn't aware of that. Um, <laughs> to kind of like incentivize people to donate. And one of them was a big rubber deer mask, and I played Killing Floor with it. I think I played... It was 15 rounds of Endless. Yeah, it was 15 rounds of Endless as Survivalist. I think on the highest difficulty. <laughs> Barely being able to see, but because we were doing a killing floor two challenge as well, I was trying that. That was a fun day. <laughs> I wore a deer mask. I had some sour rope stuff that actually turned out to be pretty good. It wasn't as sour as I thought it would be. Um, I had painted my face like the crow by the end of it, which turns out they sent you. Um, Grease paint. Uh, speaking of KO2, I might see if I'm brave enough to join you on Saturday. Yeah, or on Sunday. Yeah, sure. Feel free to hop in. Killing Floor is also open lobby for everybody who wants to hop in. <laughs> oh, we do have volatile guts. Okay. Like, they seem to really disintegrate, but that makes sense. I don't know if I'd live more than 10 seconds on Hell on Earth. Yeah, don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> Although sometimes Hell on Earth can be like that. <laughs> Where for whatever reason you just get rushed at the start and die. Uh, I usually use shield battery booster with an emphasis on the pheromone bolts and grenades. Uh, special quiver overclock. Oh, a specialist helps keep the bugs off me and keep shields up. Yeah. Yeah, shield battery booster can be good. Um, it has a high potential to be really good. It's just, like, in certain biomes, it's not that great, and in certain uh, situations. Like, I mean, if you just have, like, shield disruption, it's basically useless then. Or, well, not useless, but not nearly as useful as it could be. Because it still does give you some passive bonuses. use it that much because I'm I'm pretty much always taking like chip damage of some sort so it just it doesn't go too well with usually the way that I play oh, whoop thought I had this out for some reason oh oh yeah we need to find a mushroom Is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's in an awkward spot, at least compared to where the legs are. Let's see. Uh, you ever think about starting a character on the non stream server uh, for us console folks? Um. Well, I, I mostly just play on 
Steam though. I don't really have a console, Matt, so... <laughs> oh, you... Okay, I see what you mean though. The, um... The Microsoft Store one. Uh, not really. Just out of convenience, but... Mm, maybe. That goes up there. How many grabbers were there? I think there was only two there. Usually you don't get more than like three at a time. I have an idea for a charity stream. Uh, if you're willing to put yourself through it every time you get a donation, you eat a tortilla chip with a significant amount of hot sauce on it. <laughs> Potentially. I don't have any hot sauce though. <laughs> hey Ron, I still can't get my KF2 to work? Huh. Uh, have you verified like the integrity of the files and stuff, Shord? I I'm assuming that you're... Um, I'll donate to the <laughs> charity to your honey hot sauce. I don't have any at the moment, though. <laughs> and I I'd probably have to get like a little... Uh, at least like a sample pack or something. So there'd be like different levels of hot or something. Uh, you know, I think I still got some stuff left over from the other St. Jude's things, though. still be able to get through there but yeah I, I think i still have like those um bean boozled things which i don't know if i want to try those last time i tried them i got sick <laughs> for like the next two or three days the jelly beans bean boozled rod yeah those ones I don't remember what they were though. They were some specific kind that I got from the last event of the um, St. Jude's Play Live. You <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> All right. I haven't played KF2 in so long. Uh, I'd love to join. Uh, when do you stream? I usually stream it on the later days of um, Sunday, Jack, where we hold open lobbies for everybody to join in, usually playing on Hell on Earth. Yeah, so like this time tomorrow, um, I'm going to be streaming Elden Ring, but later in the day, I'm going to be streaming Killing Floor. That's something I'd do if I had an audience to host a charity stream. <laughs> oh, hot sauce stuff? Yeah. I mean, I remember um, when I was working at my previous job and we were invited, like all the employees and well, it was just everybody associated with the company basically was invited to like a, a Christmas dinner or holiday dinner. And my co-worker, who, um, we were at a Mexican restaurant. They had a bunch of salsa things set out. 
in like a big almost like cornucopia thing and they had various levels of heat and stuff and then he was just trying like each one as he's going like up the scale and it's like i know he finally got to like the last one he's like this one isn't even all that bad and then like a couple minutes later he's like oh oh it's getting hot now oh it's getting really hot now <laughs> So that that was that was a rather entertaining night. It's not boomerangs. She uses those on those guys. Just turn the stream into an episode of the Hot Ones. <laughs> I like it's some like crazy stuff on there though. Hmm. Oh hey Mr. Blacks, how's it going? Uh let's see. Chat what overclock does he have on the drag? Thanks. Uh this is Chill Battery Booster. I can't remember the name of it at all. <laughs> Just went completely blank. The ragdolls in this game feel so satisfying. Yeah, they're they're pretty great. I love that they added more ragdolls to a uh, dark tide as well. Like with that new, uh, they gave the ogre a new weapon. <laughs> They gave him the uh, power mall, and it has some of the best rag dolls. Mostly because the second part of the swing is like an upward swing, so you can just cartwheel people across the map. It's hilarious. Hey, <laughs> I'll probably die from the fire. Yeah, all right. Bulls that Carolina Reaper would be a good one. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd want to try a Reaper Pepper. That, that seems a bit too much. I don't want my, like, organs to explode or anything. <laughs> Check that one, they're vile. Uh, those hot sauces take a while to kick in. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. You heard of Tom Scott? Uh, not off the top of my head. Have you heard of Death Wish Coffee? Um, I know my mom usually gets my dad, I think it's Dead Man's Coffee or something like that. Because it's like one of his favorites. But it's not sold where like they live, so. <laughs> Rock and Stone, Rock and Stone Kilo, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, there is some really good local hot sauces near me, and they can put, uh, and I can't put more than a couple drops under my mill. Yeah, I imagine. We did a whole video on his Tom Scott Plus with Gavin and the Snowball Guy, which is basically a trivia game, and the loser had to eat tortilla chips with hot sauce. <laughs> okay. Sounds cool. Okay. I swear I seen like rock box on the way out, but I was like, no, that's not, it's not a thing, right? <laughs> it's not a thing yet.
Let's see, uh, Ron, love your content. Just started playing Deep Rock, and my friends and I are loving it. Awesome, Joe. Good to hear. I'm glad that you enjoy the content. It is very fun to make. Should be another uh, build guide going up today as well for uh, Inji. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Not where I thought I'd end up, but that was kind of cool. Trying to use Ice Spear, but I was out of ammo, so I was standing there like an idiot. <laughs> I've done that before. I was like, what the heck? Why doesn't it just consume my ammo? Hey, it's usually after I get done using like Sludge Blast or something where I'm like, oh yeah, I want to save like the last bullet. Because it doesn't matter how many shots you have. With the Sludge Pump, but it does with the Cryo. <laughs> Plenty of stuff to mine here. Anyway, when I uh, like I got to the hottest bottle, uh, similar reaction. Hot sauce activates. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> Pretty easy pump jack spawns. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, I actually got a bottle of Bullseye Carolina Reaper in front of me. I enjoy it. Oh, yeah. How's the dive going? Hey, everybody. So far, it's going pretty well, Nixter. That uh, Elite Deep dive was pretty crazy. The second mission was especially insane. Where it was a low O2 mission. It had Magma Core with the Caretaker. I really love the Cryo Cannon Wave Cooker build you made. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty fun one. It takes you forever to run through ammo with that thing. I think I'm standing on a loot bug. Yeah, I think so. I've been playing Scout and I can't live without the grapple hook. Grapple hook is super nice. It's probably my favorite mobility tool. Summer before last I grew a yellow scorpion bell pepper plant. And it was really productive. I was getting hands full of painful uh, red peppers every day, every few days, like for two months. Oh, wow. Yeah, my brother, uh, Tommy, had a jalapeno plant that just like refused to die, which was kind of funny. <laughs> it's, it's like, I think him and my mom had gotten like quite a few different plants. They were planning on like growing and then gonna be making into food. And I think there was like a sudden winter chill that year or something. Which kind of ended up killing like most of the plants. But like the jalapeno plant just refused to die. And then just kept making more and more peppers and actually made some really big ones. I think it was basically that, and surprisingly enough, like, the cactuses that, like, survived. All the desert plants were, like, fine for some reason. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm mining this anyway. Mushroom? Oh, there's a mushroom! <laughs> Gives us the debriefing. Focus team. <laughs> uh. I was tagging the mushroom for ages. Yeah, well, I think he had to go through all his dialogue thing. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> that pipe looks like a roller coaster track. Yeah, you can use it the same way as a roller coaster track. You can just hop on them and slide. You can also build a roller coaster. There's an achievement for it, even. Because I think it's like right on the pipelines non stop for two minutes straight. I think that's it. How painful. <laughs> you guys just grabbed a pepper and just bit into it straight away. Um, I think my brother Tommy did that one day at work, which is kind of funny. Because <laughs> I think for some reason we had like a large pepper. The funny thing was, though, it wasn't even a hot pepper. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't remember what kind. It might have just been like a banana pepper or something like that. And it was just in like the uh, in the produce section of the pallets that we would get. Keep thinking I have the incendiary. <laughs> Ah, it's okay, more bullets. Yeah, because uh, I think my boss got it and he was like, hey, does anybody want a pepper? Like, the only rule is you have to eat it like here if you want it. <laughs> that Tommy like grabbed it, like bit part of it off. And he's like, it's not even hot. <laughs> They're like, oh, really? Like, yeah, I, I think it's a, like a banana pepper or something like that. Just like, oh. <laughs> So kind of anticlimactic, but been tempted, but I haven't done it. Oh, mushroom, mushroom, yep. Indeed, I have actually last night had a Mediterranean box. Oh, okay. Not as painful as you would think. Wish I could donate. Well, you can donate any amount you'd like if you uh, would like to. Even if you can't donate, you can always help out by sharing the streams, uh, whether it be friends, family, whoever. That always helps out too. Um, and we'll be doing this all the way to the end of the month anyway. So if you can't donate now, but you might be able to donate later, you can always do it then too. And thanks everybody who has donated. I see that we have another donation, which I will have to read. I'll do that in between the missions. Could probably do it right now, but I don't want to get swarmed and eaten. <laughs> Bought, oh yeah, pots of gold. Yeah, we'll get you a lot of gold really quick. stage well, once I learned how to convert real into dollars we'll do okay um, I don't know I, it goes through tiltify and tiltify has multiple currencies that you can use I'm not sure if it includes all world currencies but what difficulty is this um, let's see that was the second stage of the deep dive so I think it's has three and a half I think it's has three has three and a half and has three and a half for the regular dive on the deep dive it's four five and five and a half I want to say or maybe it's four and a half five and then five and a half uh, 
I'd love to try a ghost pepper hot sauce one day, but uh, it's not all that common in the UK. Ah, oh, gotcha. PayPal should automatically do that for you. Yeah, yeah, it should. Yeah, because when we were raising money for the um, Australian wildfires, like two years ago, I want to say, um, that was just automatically converted to me, or converted when I donated. Have you seen the rock box has made its way out of the containers at the space rig? I wonder uh, if it's like that before the Yuletide event. Yeah, it was like that before the Yuletide event. It was in certain areas of the of the space rig. But maybe there's more to it the Yuletide stuff. I don't know. Oh, I'm out of flares. <laughs> Oh, it's a drill dozer mission. Okay. No, oh, this in. We have so much nitra. Shouldn't matter. What's your opinion on the rewiring mod for eliminations and industrial sabotage? I find it as though forcing an overheat is a lot easier with a significant amount of ammo. It can be quite good. Yeah, and those missions it can be quite good. Uh, the only times where rewire mod isn't that great is like uh, escort missions and like salvage missions. Like anything where you have to hold the area. Then I don't think it's as useful. Because you don't want to be like overheating when you have to be doing that. I tried PayPal before, asked a lot of stuff I don't know. Oh, okay. You ever been into a Kiwi right away? No. I don't know. I like the flavor of Kiwi, but I don't like the seeds in Kiwis. They always get stuck in my teeth. I'm terrible at catching the elves. <laughs> Maybe she won't run out of fuel this time. <laughs> Maybe. It'd be funny if there was like a 1% chance of that happening where it's just like, no, Dottie just keeps going. Special powder. I gotta be careful about doing that. <laughs> then I might fling myself fast enough to die. <laughs> This is kind of a cool place to stop. <laughs> Don't know if Daddy's gonna run over the plant or not. Yep, she is. Okay. Okay, apparently I didn't technically see anything for that boomerang to hit. Alright.
Okay, this uh that over there. Alright. <laughs> I had once the I once had these raw ramen noodles called volcanic spicy chicken they're nice and spicy definitely disappointing volcanic is a massive stress <laughs> yeah sometimes you get stuff like that <laughs> i wonder why that didn't start attacking me There's some more oil over there. Oh, I am full on this. Did you see uh, the 3D printed Bulldog revolver that Delta released in the store? Yes, I did, Jack. I did see that. It looked really cool. I was debating on getting it <laughs> also for that uh, that video. Still might get it as a gift or something for someone. Because it does look really cool. Nitro. Toaster gun for the win. Yep, toaster gun for the win. Are you getting somebody's who's eating Bulkin X2? I suppose not much anything compares to that. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> So, so. <laughs> uh, spiciest thing I've ever bought has to be some Korean stuff with uh, capsaicin sauce. I think that's how you say that. And I thought it was hot sauce, but it was more of a food additive. It had no flavor except hot. <laughs> it's just burning. <laughs> Basically, there's a brand of noodles called Samyun Bowl. Okay. Uh, it became well known on YouTube as the Korean Fire Noodle Challenge. Oh, really? I, I've never heard of that, either the challenge or the noodle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, hello, pickle. Frog and stone. How are you doing today? Betty explosion over there. That's <laughs> like I haven't been grabbed by a leech in forever. There's probably one around here. of it that was twice as spicy oh really that's what i was talking about oh that's why it's called x2 gotcha Aaron, your facial hair is looking particularly dwarven today oh well thank you forty i appreciate it oh you know what was uh, actually something really cool that i did <laughs> i don't know why this reminded me of it but something that was really cool that i was messing around with the other day um I was trying to get a stable diffuser to work on my computer, but apparently it doesn't like AMD systems very much, at least AMD graphics cards. But I still found an online thing and managed to make up some really cool uh, stuff that I plan on using for like an Elden Ring video I have planned. I'll have to show you guys it after this. As the games, they're pretty good. Thank you for asking. You could probably find them in any Asian supermarket, probably. Recently, I've been using a build for the Drac with Rewire mod. It's one, two, three, one, two. But I'm wondering if there's a better to have the electricity or the armor breaking in Tier Four. What do you think? Ah, uh, either one works, Rico. Tier Four, all of them are really good. Electricity will get you a little bit more damage over time. Armor breaking lets you kill bigger things a little bit quicker because you can strip the armor off them faster and then um, like the plasma splash is also pretty good because it gives you more crowd control so I, I would say whatever you want there's not really a bad choice there with basically anything Also like sour stuff. My brother Rob really likes sour stuff. He used to eat like a bunch of warheads until like his tongue would bleed. Which is, you know, not great, but it's, uh, it was from the citric acid that was like eating away of like the coating of your tongue. So it actually wasn't like very dangerous. It's just kind of freaked him out when he was younger. I just broke my own feet <laughs> by climbing on top of Molly. The downside to <laughs> special powder. If you're elevated even a little bit, you can break your own feet. <laughs> Their Korean supermarket. They must be 60 different kinds of instant robin. Cool. There we go.
Please don't grab one of these. Why not? Hey, Rod. Uh, oh, whoop. Thank you. <laughs> you. Just walk across the top of this. Pickaxe them. I think they hit me through the floor there. Sure about that. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, okay. I guess technically I didn't have a line of sight to the warden. on our way then hey Ron, have you thought about doing a stream with the twitch integrated mod i can imagine detonator spawning 24 7. um i don't know how well that would work with like the youtube and the other streams as well i have thought about it though and it, it seems like it would be fun i'd be leaving off ramen if i lived that close to one <laughs> I split up. Dang it. Okay. We'll follow the driller then. <laughs> I have to take a train to get to a nearby one uh, for market. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to go. I don't know where I'd have to go if I wanted to go to a Korean market. At least like an hour away. Uh, I think I might go Plasma Splash next time to see how it goes. Uh, I don't think I've tried that one out yet. Uh, that one can be pretty good. I like it a lot with the... Um, what's it called? Overtune Particle Accelerator, and it's also really good with the Bouncy Rounds drag, too. How did Engineer make the platform so perfect on the crystal like that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Just practice, I imagine. Probably combining the lock one with his cheese gun. Mm, could be. <laughs> I really like shield battery booster, but I think they should scale the bonus you get from the amount of shield. Let's say you have 50% shield, you should get 50% of the buff. I don't think it should be that high, but I, I think that would be nice if it was kind of like that. It would have to be like a sizable chunk reduced to the start, because otherwise I think it would just outperform like every other overclock. 
And that, that's kind of what I would be afraid of. Uh, all right, well. I think I have enough time for one has five mission. Would anybody like to see anything in particular? Also, let me read these chat messages. Um, all right, sorry, the donation messages. Oh, $20 from Norbert. Thank you, Norbert. No message, but thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate that, and the charity appreciates that. Thanks, everybody, for uh, donating. Wish I had the loot bug victory pose. It was in season one. I think you can still get it. Uh, oh. Hey, jeez. See ya, Nova. Gonna go see Avatar 2, Rock and Stone. Oh, awesome. Hope you enjoyed the movie. From what I've heard, it sounds like it's quite the spectacle, so. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. It's really rough to lose any shields in Has 5 and on the different biomes. Yeah, that's true. Been a while since I dropped in for a uh, stream. Oh, well, I'm glad that you made it. <laughs> It was a nice bridge, but it, uh, I wasn't planning it. Uh, just platformed the towers for Scout to pick the tops. Yeah, just kind of turned into a bridge. Turret arc. Uh, I really like the overclock, even though it's clearly not the easiest to use. Yeah, sure, we can do turret arc next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was in season one, though, way I should have kept playing. <laughs> yeah. I think it was like a level 90. I think it was like in the 90s. Or maybe it was in the 80s up here, somewhere like that. That was It was one of the last rewards that you could get from Season 1. But you can still get it. Um, I don't know if it's in like cosmetic overclocks now or what. Slayer Stout. Did I hear a rock and stone? The, oh, I was standing on a cup. I was like, what am, what am I floating on? Yeah. Alright. Let's, Let's see. Turret better. arc. Yeah, that'll be fine. Another salvage. Yeah. Uh, sure we can take lightweight rounds. Or lightweight cases. Oh, I needed that. The way I'd rework show battery yeah. booster is on the demand buff on damage, fire rate, and velocity in exchange for all shield. Uh, sort of like overdrive booster with the Shard Factory. That could also work. Also love your content for builds and uh, stuff. Helps a lot. Oh yeah, no problem, Clown. Oh yeah. Um, let me show you guys some cool stuff too. See, since I was talking about it, So I was messing around with an AI generator uh, to make different art and stuff. I can show you what the... Uh, thumbnail is that I came up with it ended up working pretty well <laughs> for an Elden Ring dwarf build I think it actually works out quite well but that wasn't the only one I had some other ones too because I, I was just typing in different things this one I saved just because it was funny but <laughs> that looks dope yeah I think it looked really good there were some other ones where I was trying to make like Elden Ring dwarf bosses and they turned into like monstrosities like this which kind of fits. Um, for some reason, it really likes body horror. Like, I, this one was for Warhammer. And that's kind of what it turned out to be. Yeah, alright. I think everybody's ready now. Or most of the way. So. Oh, we lost someone. Damn. Hopefully somebody else can hop in. <laughs> yeah, there was. I don't know. Driller? Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, here's. Here, this one actually turned out really well, too. This one looks very Elden Ring slash Dark Souls like. I don't know what the heck it is, but. <laughs> I saved some of these that look pretty awesome. Macaw! 
so I was having a lot of fun with that. Longer the stream goes, the more time difference between the game there is. I went from like 5 seconds, 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. That's... that could probably happen, huh? But yeah, I was having a lot of fun the other day just messing around with like AI generated art. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Because it's like these things didn't turn out quite the way they. I mean, some of them I just saved because they looked really cool, but other ones. I was like, I can totally make this into like a thumbnail later. Come on, guys. Looks so awesome. Oh, we got a pickaxe sprinkler? Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Molly. What, of course, now that there's a big X of it? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a bulk. <laughs> awesome. Is there? Oh yeah, that does sound like a bulk. Maybe they did change its audio slightly. All right, well, I'll set this up because why not? Ow. Okay, well. Alright. <laughs> I need some red sugar now. Yeah. This is awesome. Sorry, little new bug. I do need your stuff, though. You want something done right? You gotta do it yourself. Ah, there we go. Salvation. <laughs> Shield battery booster should be given a large splash range. Splash damage stacks on top of it. It's a crest detonator, I like the audio change. Yeah, people were telling me that there was an audio change, but I had only heard the regular bulks. And they sounded this. What the heck? Catch that little gnome. I'm sorry, elf. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen an elf. <laughs> little bugger ran away. Do they act more like, do they act like hoarders or do they act like faster please? <laughs> I didn't read any patch notes on any of this. There we go. Hmm. Don't know where you ran off to. Get that bloody leaf lover exactly. Firebug mains and KF2, where you at? <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a firebug main, but I do appreciate firebug. There we 
go. There we go. Yeah, you should die from the electricity. <laughs> we brought it to the tunnel. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> the electricity was gonna kill it regardless. Go get him, Steve. We're not rich. Oh, we're still rich. Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Okay. Getting more ammo. You drop a little gnome when you deposit for the two seasonal or two times seasonal XP. Oh, okay. Awesome. I hope it's Noam Chomsky. <laughs> but you look at that it looks like we've got a pre-made bunker <laughs> come over your bugs there we go Out of your on, out goes the mining today. Did you finish the ultimate event? I just barely started it. Uh, we were actually doing the uh, elite deep dive and the regular deep dive earlier, and the elite deep dive this week is kind of crazy, at least for the second stage. The rest of it, well, the last stage seems like it. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit dash there. Uh, seems like it could be pretty crazy, too. So this is like my first one that I've done. I run. Uh, nobody opted in, so I didn't. Oh, well. Hello, whoops. Hello, hit <laughs> hit. Secondary objective completed. Hmm. Finish the job. Oh, the other mini meals over there. Alright. Gunner's having a bad day. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Yeah, like faster, please. But since there's only one, it always hides up in some random supply hole or something. Oh, okay. That kind of makes sense. Okay. 
Don't worry, they're coming this way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's grab another one of these. And that way I can build up our little <laughs> bunker here. as well come here Steve <laughs> sadly no but I have an appreciation for the left for dead reference yeah exactly <laughs> I'm not too familiar with the OG I just watch because I enjoy Ron streams oh well thank you Jack <laughs> appreciate that uh, there's not too much to there's a lot of things that you can learn, similar to like how KF2 works, but for the the general, um, you know, kind of what you're doing, you're just a bunch of dwarfs going on different missions, trying to either mine things or kill things or kill and mine things or defend an area like this. Whoops. And then you can also have other like modifiers and stuff. So maybe there's more flying enemies or more swarming enemies. <laughs> um, okay. I don't think those are going to last for very long, but all right. You should stop cutting off my messages when I add an emote at the end. <laughs> Seems weird. career <laughs> uh, I certainly hope not usually I don't do bunkers just for that reason in particular because I've had that happen but I mean this was just so convenient that <laughs> Outside. I'm safe in here. <laughs> I've got bunker mentality now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I could have just shot breeze cutter shot through the hole up there. That would have made it see like a lot safer because this can just go right through walls. After the lockdowns, we all have bunker mentality. <laughs> all right. Steve lost his armor. 
Well, that wasn't Steve, but. <laughs> Dang it. If I just had one more platform, <laughs> that will help. Actually, you know what? I might do that. How about Texas of Oldham if you replayed it? Uh, <laughs> Texas of Oldham can be pretty fun. Yeah, hopefully that's in a decent place for... Oh, I should have brought uh, decoys. <laughs> Just keep zapping them. Keep the electricity going. <laughs> Transformers. Uh, yeah, I had a bullet from my SMG. playing this on the stream on the steam deck and i've got to say it's a blast awesome dab <laughs> All right. 
We have returned. Victorious. I still gotta do the holiday assignments. I do too, Jackrabbit. <laughs> I do too. That was the very first one of the holiday assignments that I've done. I There's still like quite a few more. I think there's actually two things of holiday stuff. Go see Santa around the space raid. Yeah, I we seen him at the very start of this. Yeah, this is where the pickaxe. The pickaxe looks awesome too. Jeez. Yeah, because he took off from this side to the other side. I don't know how often he comes around. But, yep. Santa's out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, one of the cosmetics, including the new pickaxe parts, and one of the general for the overclocks. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done, like, any of that. I didn't... Oh, there he is. There's Santa. With his six glyphids. <laughs> rock and stone, rock and stone. Uh, I might head out. See you later. All right, take care, Jack. I'm also going to be uh, stopping right here for right now. I'll be back in a little while, though. I'll probably be back in an hour, hour and a half, streaming some more Deep Rock. Uh, I guess we'll just do more of the assignments and stuff. We're going to be playing some As 5. Maybe I'll do the Elite Deep Dive again, potentially, for people who kind of want to try that with me. Feel free to hop in. <laughs> Vandalizing the decorations. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day. Oh, there's Santa again. Rock and stone like there's no tomorrow. And uh, I will catch you guys in a little bit. Um. So yeah, and uh, thanks everybody for donating to the charity stream too. I really appreciate that. We're going to be doing this until the end of the month. So if you'd like to donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, you can. You can donate any amount you'd like. And uh, thanks everybody once again for donating. Who has donated? All right. Bye-bye uh, everybody. Take care. <laughs> Download the MC mod. Ah, nice. Bye, Rod. See you later. See you later, Labyrinth.